El Pomaro County Supervisor says approximately 60 bus stops in the county could benefit from new shelters, but she says change will not happen anytime soon because of what she calls a bureaucracy in place. NBC 29's Madison McNamee talks with her about the problem. Each of these bus stops in Albemarle County would have to be reviewed one by one before getting approval for a bus shelter instead of just a pole like this on the side of the road. And now I'm told that process can take up to a year for each of the stops because these shelters have to be approved as if they were a house along the side of the road. Well, it's a house without a bathroom or a kitchen, <laughs> but it is essentially a house on their right of way. Those regulations come from VDOT, which Albemarle Supervisor Diantha McKeel calls a bureaucracy. This um, necessitates collaboration between our transit agency, which is CAT, locally, the localities, Albemarle County, the manufacturer of the shelters, VDOT, the Department of Governmental Services, and the Architectural Review Board. Each group has its own area of concern when it comes to getting just one shelter approved, let alone 60, which McKeel says is how many Charlottesville Area Transit's director says need infrastructure. Well, aside from the safety issue, you have issues around trash pickup and if the, the plexiglass on the shelter is broken. She says the Board of Supervisors are working with the Department of Rail and Transportation to establish a prototype to change the approval process. We need something that is a way of installing these shelters that is targeted towards exactly what we need in the area, right? It's simple and it's not bureaucratic. DRPT said in a statement, DRPT is committed to working with transit agencies as well as the Department of General Services and the Department of Transportation to navigate the process. VDOT did not have a response for us. McKeel does not have a timeline in mind for when we could actually see more shelters in the county. If we want to get people out of their cars and using transit, we really have to come together and figure out these problems. <laughs> in Albemarle County, Madison McNamee, NBC 29 News.